I don't know it for a fact, but I believe that we mount more turkeys than anyone. But we, tr we try to keep our, our numbers between 12 and 1,400 a year. So about any time you can walk in here, we'll have between two and 300 mounted all the time. We chose to specialize in the wild turkey, and the way I figure it, that if you do something every day, all year long, you're gonna get better at it. So when somebody brings a turkey in, first thing we do is look at it, figure out how they want it mounted. We scan the turkey, at that point we freeze the turkey. Every day we take turkeys out, we take all the meat out of them, and then we turn the turkey inside out and we take it to a fleshing wheel that's got a wire wheel on it, and we take all the fat off the inside. We do that and we wash them in the sink about three times, let the water drip out of them, and then we put them in a tumbler which has corn cob grit in it. We tumble them in there for eight or ten minutes, bring them out and blow dry them again. Um, from that point, we pre-fit a body in them, whether it's standing or it's gonna be fluffed like a strut, and uh, we wire this body to the inside of the turkey, and we'll base it on whatever they want it on, whether it's a limb or a foam base, wood base, and uh, that's when the mounting process starts. And the mounting process takes us a little over 20 minutes on each bird. When people walk in our showroom, the first thing they notice is our different poses. So we can do anything a turkey does, but do it better. We do preening, we do flying, we do all these different poses, but, but our favorite is the interactions, you know, like more than one turkey together. So it tells a story. A turkey, each feather is individual, and you have to move every one of them. You know, you have to touch every one of them. We have the best freeze-dried turkey heads on the market. We'll uh, skin the turkey head out, take the neck and, and the skull and everything out. The only thing that's hard that's left in that, in that skin is the beak. And then we pre-fit it over our mannequins. So this skin will, will slide over the, over the mannequin, and then he pins it in place with just regular straight pins. From there, he freezes them and then puts them in the freeze dryer. We take them out of the freeze dryer and uh, take them to the paint room and I paint them. Uh, we custom paint them to any, any way they want. And it takes me about 12 minutes to paint a turkey head. There's a lot of fake heads out on the market, but they don't look as good as the, the freeze dried ones. You know, the wild turkey, I just think they're a very pretty animal. You know, I enjoy, I enjoy watching them, I enjoy hunting them. And uh, more than anything, I, I enjoy making people happy with what we give them back.